guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today is part two of the psychic ability exercise video that I put up on Friday. On Friday, um, I put up a video with a picture of a pet, and I asked people to comment about what they were feeling um, as they tapped into the energy of the animal that was in the picture. Uh, this all came about because I had a subscriber or a few subscribers asking me before if I could do like some psychic development videos and, you know, activities activities and I thought that would be really fun and I wanted them to be more interactive where you guys can make comments and then I could read the comments so you guys could get feedback and it would be a safe place where you know you're not um, maybe hesitant because you're you know there's no there's no like really right or wrong because we we all interpret inf information differently we're all different people with different backgrounds um, and so when we get downloads you know not everybody gets them the same way. Some people are very visual, some people feel things, some people start hearing, you know, music in their ear or something like that. And so since we get information in so many different ways and we have um, our own interpretation system, our interpretations, um, you know, that's just what they are. It's, it's like a translation of uh, spirit. And so you know the job of the person receiving the message is to then try and take the messages and put it into a way that we would understand and so i really enjoyed all the comments that came in and so this is part two so in the first video i showed this picture which i said it was uh, a pet and then this is the same pet but uh, much younger um, so this is younger and a little bit older. Um, so I'll go ahead and talk about it now. Um, and then I will read the comments and, uh, tell you kind of how that translated to me, like how, what you, how the information you received, uh, translates to, um, uh, a message for me, you know, through what you saw in these pictures. So this guy here, this is Presley. This is our old cat. <laughs> um, and that's him when uh, he was uh, just, I think, a couple years old, maybe a year, year or two old. Um, he was just uh, probably a few years old here. Uh, he ended up only living to be about 10 years old, which is not not very old for a cat, especially an indoor cat. Um, my boyfriend had a, a cat before him named Herb and uh, Herb lived to be about like 18 and a half years old, um, you know, but uh, he, you know, had some uh, complications at the end and he passed away. Well, our Presley, um, oh my gosh, my boyfriend said when he first got him, he was thinking of naming him Elvis because of the way he strutted about and owned the room. And he knew he was good looking and he knew <laughs> he didn't take crap from anyone. Uh, he demanded respect. Um, he was, uh, he was, he was really interesting. And my acupuncturist, you know, who I say is like my mom, uh, she says, she always t refers to him as he's not a cat. He was not cat. I think he was like Buddhist monk, you know, in past life. Um, because Presley didn't look at you, he looked through you, and it's like he knew exactly what you were thinking, and actually he did. <laughs> and there are just so many instances of him doing things, it's just like, it's like there there really was a person, you know, in there. It wasn't, it wasn't, <laughs> you know, it was just, there was just this higher, higher level being that was in there. And what uh, everybody most loved about him was his eyes, and in these pictures they seem rather blue but actually they were lavender. He had lavender eyes. Wally has really blue eyes, but uh, uh, yeah, Presley was like, when people would see him, it'd be like, wow, look at that cat's eyes. You know, they were lavender and, you know, he always used to sit so proud with his chest up, you know, and he was, he was always just proud to be him, you know, and he, um, he was definitely my boyfriend's cat, you know, um, um, my boyfriend always said that's his spirit guy. That was his buddy for life, you know, um, and Presley watched out for him. He watched out for, you know, me when we, we, when we got together and actually before he had gotten while or Presley before we had gotten together, you know, he was with his ex-girlfriend and Presley hated his ex-girlfriend. Actually, no animals liked her. Like she used to get chased by chickens, like birds would come out of the sky and try to attack her. Like animals really didn't like that girl <laughs> and uh yeah presley made it known that he was not a fan of her 
yeah, when I would come visit, because I was, I was friends, you know, I was their friend, <laughs> um, uh, Presley just used to come over and like sit in my lap and he'd purr and he'd rub on me. And I was like, this little guy is, you know, hurting you, you know, and, um, yeah, he just loved me so much. And my boyfriend says he should have listened, you know, because later on, uh, that girl ended up dumping him and he's like, yeah, he says, should have listened to the cat. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, he, uh, towards the end of his life, um, you know, uh, we had, it was just, uh, I think, let's see, he, he got sick in right after Christmas. I believe or like in, into January um, so just like six or seven months after we moved in here into this house um, and he had a virus that had gone after his heart um, and put him into heart failure and uh, renal failure which is kidney failure um, the vet said that basically he would have um, maybe just like a couple of months to live um, you know, but my boyfriend was very diligent about giving him his heart medication, um, you know, anytime during the light, like he used to sleep so lightly, you know, anytime his breathing changed, he was up, you know, to give him his medicine. And so it was like this balance of, you know, making sure that he was, he was getting the proper nutrients because, you know, um, it soured his stomach, the medication he ate, and we didn't want him losing too much weight. So it was like trying to just like find anything to help him keep weight on while balancing his medication, you know, because um, the medication he he took, he, he was on a couple of medications for his heart and his kidneys and the one for his heart, um, I believe, uh, dried out his kidneys and his kidneys needed to be wet so the one that was for the kidneys was not good for the I was like you know so it was like this this balance and my boyfriend was able to actually keep him alive for about six months where he was still kind of able to like do do his thing and be Presley but um, you know he was always so upset that he couldn't understand why he couldn't just race around like he used to and just be as active as he was like it was really a um, it was really like put off, you know, he was like, like, why, what's wrong with me? Like, why can't I just run around? Like, why, you know, why can't I do the things that I like doing? And so, um, uh, you know, to kind of keep him, you know, having fun, we eventually started taking him out into the backyard where it's not like he was going to run off or anything. He never wanted to run off and we'd, you know, just take him for like supervised visits. I'd take him out in the morning and I'd drink my tea while he used to just lay in eventually what became our garden. It was like just the beginnings of our garden back then. Um, and so there was a particular spot he used to lay. And so eventually when he did pass away here at home, um, with, uh, me and my boyfriend, my boyfriend's best friend and, uh, um, uh, a vet that is a friend of his best friend came over um, and you know eventually passed and so uh, my boyfriend and his best friend ended up uh, burying him uh, near our garden where he used to lay in the sun when he was very sick so yeah and we still you know hear him in the house <laughs> you know we would still we actually still feel him like brushing up against our leg and you know sometimes every now and then we'll hear his his meow which is a big meow and he was a very talkative cat like very talkative like you could hold a conversation with him and it'd be like meow 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 you know <laughs> it was just like you know um and wally is like not a big talker at all it's like usually just when he's upset um loki however he's a talker <laughs> so anyway so that's a little bit about Presley. So let's go ahead and read some of those comments. First comment comes from Two Rocks Tarot. And she says, um, so here it goes. I'm pretty sure that this is Wally. I think she meant Presley. Uh, your cat who has passed. The eyes are what I'm attracted to. He looks like he is cross-eyed. Now my cat, even though she was all black, was cross-eyed until she had some kittens. And then they straightened. <laughs> I don't know why, but every now and again, she would look at me and cross her eyes, and I feel like this cat used to do this, or at the very least make them appear more cross-eyed. Well, um, he, he did have crossed eyes. Um, my boyfriend would say they're not that crossed, and his mother used to, like, 
make fun of his cat's eyes all the time. She goes, he's so cross-eyed. He looks like a weasel. You know? <laughs> and she just like did not like Presley because she she liked uh, animals that were a little more submissive and uh, Presley was very assertive. And so, yeah, he, he did not appreciate being put down and things like that. And he knew when you were making fun of him and he did not appreciate that. <laughs> um, I feel that this cat liked to snuggle to you, to blankets, to anywhere cozy, yes. He would put us to sleep and then there would be, you know, to the point where you just can't sleep anymore and he's like, he's like, no, shoo, 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 shoo. go back to sleep, go back to sleep and, <laughs> and you're like, but I need to use the restroom, I need water, I'm hungry and it's like, no, 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 go back to sleep. <laughs> um, I feel this cat used to like to sunbathe um, in windows and was quite a vocal cat, which I know Siamese are, but this one even more so, yes. Uh, teeth, did he have teeth that stuck out in some way? Um, he did, he had some extra long fangs and uh, when he did not like something that you were saying or a suggestion for him, he used to like like show you a fang, he'd be like, eh. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Um, and also, okay, well, I'll get to that in her other comment. I also got a mental picture of him looking like he's chewing gum. Uh, he used to do this odd thing with his mouth and it used to make you laugh. Yes, my favorite thing to do with him is uh, when he'd be on my lap, I would get underneath like his chest and his tummy like right there in his armpits and I would just like pet, 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 pet. And he just like would get so hunchy and he would be so happy he, he couldn't meow anymore. He'd be like, he was like, I'm so happy, I can't even meow. And he'd like look at you and you're like, Presley, do you like that? And he's like, <laughs> he's like so happy. He used to love his his, his tummy rubs, his uh, armpit and chest rubs. Um, I feel as though you have been his owner in many lifetimes. You have a special bond that death can't cross. I see the both of you in Egypt playing together with a ball of red string in a stone room. You were a young girl. Um, I feel that this cat was very regal in demeanor. Yes, he owned the room. Any room that he was in, he owned. Uh, this cat didn't like being woken up. No, he appreciated his beauty sleep. Um, and he, he slept when we slept, so he wasn't like a, a nocturnal, you know. So when it was time for bed for us, it was, it was time for bed for him. Um, so yeah, having to listen to our alarms when we got up in the morning, he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, I feel that this cat still visits like mine does in spirit and that like you or like me, uh, you get signs of his love. For instance, I was missing my cat dreadfully one day. I had her for 22 years and I hopped onto my Facebook and I think it was and I saw a picture of a cat and a love heart and a froth on a coffee. She used to love the smell of coffee and used to put her face in it. When I got her ashes back, they included a candle with them and you guessed it, it smelled like coffee. An odd choice to put with the cat's ashes, don't you think? Then on the same day, I received in the post a portrait that my friend drew of her. So I feel that you get signs like that. Her ashes sit above me on a shelf with my tarot cards with a statue of Bast looking over her beneath her portrait. She used to love lying on my cards when I was uh, trying to read um, them when she was young. Yeah, um, Presley used to like to lay on my cards too. Like, actually he used to love helping me pull tarot cards. Wally not so much. Loki, yes. And actually I had an odd dream of Loki last night. And I mean, it was pretty sad because it was, uh, it was that moment that we had lost Presley, but it was losing Loki in my dream. And then when I brought everybody, I don't know why I had students upstairs in my dream, but I had my students come down and Brian and I was like, Loki's gone, Loki's gone. Uh, but then Loki was alive and he was walking around and was like, no, I saw you die. And he's like, he's like burr, burr, you know, <laughs> you know, and he was, he was very much alive. And so I think that was Presley telling me in my dream that, you know, uh, it's not a figmentation of your imagination when you think you see me in Loki. And that's because he is partially in Loki, although Loki is mostly his own weird self. You know, there are glimpses of Presley being in there and that's been pretty awesome. And actually, since we got Loki, we haven't heard Presley in the house. So I'm thinking that's partially where he is. Okay. Sherry Bug D said, I feel like this cat was not feeling well in the first pick, like it was the last pick that was taken of him. And the second pick, I feel like he is feeling playful that the pick was taken someplace other than his home. Um, so uh, in, I think, I think I showed off 
this one first. I think this is the first pic she's talking about. Um, and so he was actually really sleepy in this picture. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it was like maybe, oh, here comes Wally. But it was like maybe a few years later, you know, that he was not feeling well. So maybe that he was, he was kind of putting that out there. Like towards the end of my life, I was not feeling well, you know, and so I, I kind of think that's where that was coming from. Um, and then this one, uh, we're talking about him feeling playful and it was someplace other than his home. Um, well, my, my boyfriend and his ex-girlfriend used to live in a condo and this was taken at his old condo. So, um, I could see how Presley would not see this as his home. Um, because especially, you know, how my boyfriend's ex-girlfriend had treated him there at the very end, you know, so I think it's best that they broke up. I mean, good for me, but, you know, <laughs> um, but, you know, and also good for, for Presley. So, um, yeah, I think very much he, he felt like this house, even though he wasn't here that long, it was like our home, you know, it was, it was us. It was finally all of us, you know, together. Hey, Kendra's Journey had also uh, commented and she said, loving like playing with milk caps. I feel that uh, she passed from something related to her kidneys. Uh, well, Presley's a boy, but you know, a lot of people looking at him kind of always thought that he was a girl because he had such pretty eyes. Um, but yes, uh, he did uh, pass away from uh, heart failure and renal failure. So um, Hit the, hit the nail on the head on that one. Um, and also, yes, extremely playful. And if you are on the floor, like, okay, go back. If Brian's on the floor, that's fine. If I'm on the floor, I was on his, I was in his territory. It's like, oh, we gonna play now. <laughs> like, oh no, you do not come sit on my floor unless you've come to play. <laughs> and so it was like, I want to wrestle. And he used to like, he used to be really rough and tumble and rough house where is Wally place so gentle and he like doesn't want to hurt you. Presley didn't want to hurt you either, but he was just a little, a lot more rough, <laughs> you know, than Presley or, or than Wally is. Shuffle Tarot said, I got the word cat just before you showed the photo. That's a start, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it's definitely a start. Actually, you know, one of my favorite things to do is um, when somebody's trying to think of, um, they're like, you know that place we used to go to? You know that I always try to think of like what they're gonna say before they say it or they're like um you know what time what should we meet up somewhere I always try to like think of the time before they say it um so yeah you know if I was gonna say oh yeah I'm gonna show you a picture that's you know you know of an animal that's awesome you know to kind of get that I wonder what animal is gonna be maybe a cat you know so that's that's a fun like intuitive game to do so yes shuffle tarot I think that that is fun and yes it is a start uh, Grun Euler, Green Owl says, lemon scent, orange fluffy mouse, and head tilted to the left. Uh, one of Presley's signature moves, although, you know, except for the one where he's like sitting up straight all the time, which he always was, is sometimes he'd look at you and if you, well, he'd look at me and he always looked confused at whatever I was doing. So yes, there'd be the, the head tilt to the side, the, like, what are you doing? Um... The lemon scent, actually, I think it's interesting um, that maybe at the same time with that one, my grandmother who did smell of like a lemon scent, which is like my mom's mother, might have been kind of coming in with that one too. But the orange fluffy mouse, um, Presley did not have a orange fluffy mouse, but Wally has an orange poof and he likes orange hair ties. He likes orange poofs and red poofs and things like that. And actually when I was reading uh, Green Owl, when I was reading your comment, um, I looked over into Presley's old spot, which is here in the master bedroom near the slider and there is an orange poof <laughs> right there in his spot. So I thought that was rather interesting. Oh, by the way, this is the orange poof, so it's in his spot. <laughs> and the last comment is by Herbs and or Herbs and Tarot. Uh, this is so awesome. I just got a feeling of tiredness in the first photo, but soon after this, I got a feeling of peace and happiness. Like he was just happy to be there with the person in this photo. That is Wally. Uh, rubbing up against the tripod there. Uh, I also felt like there is a strong connection to protection in this little guy. And even when he was exhausted, he was always there to protect people. And also, as soon as I posted this, I just saw in my mind a deep-rooted tree that was just strong and unwavering. Uh, thank you for reading my comments.
And so, yes, I would say definitely, yes, with the first photo, yeah, well, Presley was extremely tired. <laughs> and he was all snuggled up in my purple blankie. Uh, but yeah, he was, he was really tired there. And, you know, and here just, you know, chilling at my boyfriend's old condo on his on his beach towels, which uh, we still have this beach towel and it is in front of our fire fireplace all folded up and it is the favorite spot for Wally to hang out and for Loki to hang out. Like they just love that beach towel. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, he definitely, you know, if even when he wasn't feeling well, especially, you know, at the end there, he was still very much concerned with, you know, making sure everybody was taken care of and that everybody was okay. Um, even at the very, very end, you know, when my, um, when we were all there to be with him, you know, and his passing, um, he wanted to make sure that he, he sat up and, and greeted my boyfriend when he came in the door, you know, even though it was very difficult for him, you know, so he was a very, very strong, uh, little guy and, um, uh, you know, and obviously his, his energy hasn't left, you know, because he was such a strong guy and, um, uh, you know, the, the tree symbolism, I do understand. And also, uh, his grave, which is in the backyard has a, um, like a slice of a tree trunk, like the, like a wheel of a tree, um, on top of it. So he does, he does have that tree energy on top of him. All right, so thank you guys very much for jumping in on this activity. So I, I love being able to interact with you guys, you know, show you a little something, and then you guys make comments, and then I can comment on your comments. And I think it's a just a really fun way and a very like low key way for us to work on our intuition. I'll definitely try to do another video like this next month. You know, if you guys really want me to, just you know, leave me. In the comment section down below maybe you have an idea of uh, which other type of exercise you would like me to do with you guys again leave that in the comment section below and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up uh, so that I know that you want me to do more just like this and don't forget to click subscribe don't forget to click that ding 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 notification bell for more videos just like this and if you want to catch a reading with me um, I have a lot of different types of readings I have uh, mediumship readings I have tarot readings and I also have rainbow bridge readings which helps to connect you with your furry, furry, scaly, feathery loved ones on the other side. Uh, so just head on over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com and don't forget to join that KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittensweightsandtarot uh, where my homies over there are helping to get my first oracle deck off the ground uh, plus helping me with uh, different ideas for content and things that you guys want to see. Um, you know, and just kind of uh, supporting this channel and everything that I do, and you get a lot of freebies in the process. So I will catch you spiritual homies later. All right, peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.